Hare Krishna. Exploiting others' weaknesses doesn't make us strong. Overcoming our own weaknesses does. Life is often a power struggle where different people are trying to maneuver and manipulate to put themselves in more powerful positions. Uh, for this, often we try to uh, see where others are weak and try to exploit them. So, and sometimes if somebody can exploit somebody else, then they consider that I am very strong. See how, how much I can control this person. Say, if somebody is very attached to sensuality, to physical sensual gratification, lusty gratification, then in the past, say enemies would send women, attractive women to seduce their opponent and then when the opponent is weakened, then they would conquer and defeat and even maybe kill that first warrior. So their weakness, that warrior's weakness is say attraction to beautiful forms. So sometimes some people would be very, uh, very eager for craving for wealth and such people may turn traitors in a war and they may be used by, seduced by the opponents and the opponent may think themselves so clever. See, I uh, weakened this person. In the Mahabharat, Dhritarashtra was very attached to his son Duryodhan. And Duryodhan used various ways to press Dhritarashtra's buttons. And that way he made Dhritarashtra dance to his tune. And he thought himself so clever that he could get Dhritarashtra to agree with the gambling match in which he was able to dispossess the Pandavas of all their wealth and dishonor their queen Draupadi and he considered see how clever I am that I have humiliated uh, the Pandavas and he used Dhritarashtra to do that but actually this did not make Duryodhan strong although he thought he was strong he was actually uh, becoming weaker and weaker, being controlled more and more by his envy. Till eventually that envy made him completely senseless in not accepting even Arjuna's Krishna's peace proposal and courting a war in which he met a painful, humiliating death. The Bhagavad Gita talks about the ungodly mentality, the demonic mentality where people Manipulate others, even eliminate others, and think of it as their cleverness. Asau maya hatha shatru hanishe chapara napi ishvaro hamam bhogi siddho aham balwan sukhi adhyo abhijanva nasmi konyo sisadrusho maya yakshe dasya mimo dishya ityagyana vimo ko anyo asisadrusho maya. Who is there like me? Who is as clever as me? Who is as smart as me? As strong as me? And who can manipulate others like me and eliminate them? So those who think like that, they are deluded by ignorance and they will meet a terrible end. So in our day-to-day -day relationships also, sometimes we may exploit others' weaknesses to get our way. Now, if we do that and think that we are so strong and smart by that, we are fooling ourselves. Now we have to see what our weaknesses are and we have to focus on overcoming our weaknesses. Only then we will become strong. So by not focusing on others' weaknesses but on our weaknesses and by not trying to manipulate others' weaknesses but to eliminate our weaknesses through purification and devotion, that's how we will become strong. Hare Krishna.